Thank you for the question about masks. Yes, that is the topic of conversation lately, but let me make sure folks understand that we still do not have the protective equipment we need to protect our healthcare workers and our other first responders. That is our first priority, to make sure that we can protect those who are treating COVID-19 patients. As you heard from Director Sprayberry, we're working incredibly hard to scour literally the earth to bring supplies here to North Carolina. And we, we just don't have them at this point, but we're working hard um, to make sure we do. So as far as masks are concerned, those are going to be prioritized for those who are working in our healthcare facilities and other first, first responders. Then as we look at our masks and could masks be a component of uh, slowing the spread of the virus, I think that is a, the right conversation for us to be having once we have the supplies that we need. But I will say that it is not a replacement for some of the tried and true things that we can do right now, which is washing our hands. Remember that cloth masks and, and face masks are really protecting the world from the person wearing the mask, not the other way around. So it doesn't protect you, the mask wearer, from catching COVID-19. But it can be an important component as we move forward here, and we'll continue to understand as our supply chain uh, gets better, and we do have the supplies we need, whether or not that becomes an important component. But right now, we're focused on our frontline healthcare workers. And remember, you can do those tried and true things in terms of washing your hands, uh, wiping down surfaces, and of course, staying home.